If you were to make a list of the most common, let's call them cat questions, even if you didn't own a cat, it's hard to imagine that the one that I'm going to talk about here today wouldn't make the cut. Here, kitty, kitty, you know, all that jazz, nothing. Your cat just won't pay attention to you at all. Just will not walk over to you for anything. Why won't my cat listen to me? Well, I won't get too deep in the weeds over this one and attempt to be too clever. If your cat is happy and healthy, just a normal cat without, let's say, issues, if your pet just isn't listening or caring about what you have to say, it's because they don't have to care. Cats just aren't wired that way, unfortunately. I mean, in the literal sense, your cat hears you. Your cat is listening, they just don't care. It's not important to them, and I'll explain why here momentarily. It's important to realize that, especially when it comes to something like listening and responding, that most cats, I say most, not all, are quite different compared to most dogs. Canines often seek out attention. They love attention. It is a priority. Dogs are often more than happy to respond to their owners or just random strangers on the street, to be honest. That form of social interaction is what they love. It's what they crave, you could say. Anyone ever own a big dog? Just any big old dog. Perhaps it was yours or belonged to a relative or a friend. You call that dog's name and what probably happened? Oh boy. Attention. Start petting the dog, and then what? That tail. Oh, that tail. Be mindful of the tail. Have you ever heard a dog's tail whip up and down on a hard surface? <laughs> that thing's almost like a weapon, right? At any rate, you get what I mean. Dogs, by and large, crave human attention. So that begs the question, why are most cats just so very different, so aloof? Well, it really all comes down to independence. Cats, pretty much by default, don't need people. They don't view us as anything of importance. I talk all the time about building up that bond of love and trust with your cat. It's a process. And sure, cats always want to be fed and have quality shelter, but beyond that, they really couldn't care less about human interaction. Especially if we're just talking about a random cat and a random person. Here again, cats hear us. They just don't always care about it. They care about us, for that matter. Outside of independence, if your cat always seems to turn the other whisker on you, let's call it, well, mood could be a factor. It's like people, right? Sometimes you're just not in the mood to be chipper, to be upbeat and engaging. If your cat is turning away from you, they could be just having a blah type of day. Hey, we've all been there. And if whatever you're trying to say to your cat is in the midst of that feline nap time or resting time, oh, forget it. You can absolutely, for the most part, truly forget it. If your pet is calm and relaxed, getting them to move from, let's say, point A to point B can become even more of a daunting task. Sometimes, I would say most of the time, in fact, it's just not worth the trouble. Now that we've covered a few of the more, let's call it basic reasons, dare I say traditional reasons, let's talk about a few other factors, some rather important factors. Let's start with age. After all, this is senior cat wellness. If your cat is of senior status, there's a possibility that your pet isn't listening to you because, unfortunately, they're dealing with hearing loss, perhaps even loss of vision, at least to some degree. It's also quite vital to consider the energy aspect. If you want your cat to move from point A to point B, that's probably just not as easy as it used to be. Your cat is listening, but... It's easier and perhaps more pain-free just to stay where they are in their current spot. If your cat is indeed older, slower, and those golden years are in fact creeping in, it's very important just to go a bit easy on your pet. Trying to get your two-year-old cat to mind, as they say, well, you can be a bit more demanding, more energetic, perhaps introduce some training methods to get your cat to listen up and then act accordingly. An old cat it's best to just take that gentle approach. And while that's not to suggest that old age should give your cat a total free pass all the time, 
It's important as an owner to pick your battles when dealing with a senior cat and understand that their lack of listening and attention could be, to some degree, out of their control. Other factors and concerns that could point to your cat's lack of attention and listening, fear, stress, environmental changes within your home, your cat could be just a bit skittish. And what about illness? I mean, this is a given. Just like with human health, if you're not feeling so hot, you're probably a bit less likely to listen and follow directions and be quite eager and anxious to participate. So while independence and the lack of need or the lack of desire to be social could very well be the reason for your cat's, let's call it cold shoulder, there's certainly a chance that other factors are at play that reach far beyond those old feline stereotypes. In closing, I'll just say that if your cat has always been big on paying attention, following commands, and eager to socialize with you, and then all of a sudden that changes, perhaps in a sudden nature, this is concerning and should be a red flag. I mentioned the health issues, whether it be old age or illness, but a sudden decline or full stop when it comes to listening and being alert and attentive, that could point to something significant. And while stark environmental changes could cause this behavior, the introduction of a new pet, moving to a new home, what have you, a rapid decline in health could be the reason. Always pay attention to the big picture, as your cat simply not listening to you could have deeper roots than what appears on the surface. Is your cat big on the listening and the action front, or is your feline living that independent life to the max? Are you the person in the thumbnail for this video? <laughs> This image right here on the screen, is that you most days with your cat? Tell me your story in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.